Would you like to see one of the most beautiful yachts in the world? Well, stay tuned for Turquoise Yacht Tour. Welcome to the Be Fantastic channel, where you will find many fantastic interviews with amazing people. Visit the top world museums, incredible zoos, beautiful national parks, special events and much more. These videos are designed to educate, inspire, motivate and entertain you. We hope you will enjoy them. Join the Be Fantastic philosophy. Please subscribe, like and share. Well, I'm outside Turquoise Yachts. If you're into super yachts or mega yachts, we're going to take a tour of the shipyard and see what it has to offer. We're about 40 minutes outside of Istanbul, Turkey, and I love yachts. I'm a private captain. And thanks to John Paul DeGioia, one of my sponsors, uh, he's, he's allowed me to visit uh, Istanbul and, and see these magnificent yachts that they have in Istanbul. So come along with me and we're going to take a tour. Let's see what happens. So we are being escorted into the gate, and there she is, Turquoise Yachts. It, it just got fancier. Here's the front door. <laughs> they have one of their models on, dis on display. This might be the 77-footer. Beautiful. And here's their 53-meter. Beauty. And this yeah. is Banu, who's going to give me, you're going to give me the tour? I am. Oh, that's I am. fantastic. Take you around the ship. Okay. Look at yeah, that. Right. Yes. Beautiful. So far, beautiful. And and here's another model. And Banu just told me there's an 87 meter in construction. Exactly. And this is the design department, right? Yes. From scratch. Wow. All the engineers and people hard at work making these fantastic yachts. Uh, this is the floating dock, yes. and you were saying? We actually have two shipyards, one in Kojeli and one here in Pandik, where we're at the moment. Uh, and the hull is constructed in Kojeli. So the floating dock is used for transporting the hull okay. from Kojeli to this shipyard. Okay. These are the project groups. Each boat has a project and a project manager, and uh, they see it from beginning to end. So this is the Tuzlak Bay or area where all the shipyards are and you can see there's a lot of industrial ships being worked on, refit, remodeled and there's the floating bay at ground level. So in one month this is a 65 meter that will be launched. This floating dock can handle up to a 90 meter yacht or ship you might want to call it even. It's huge and it sinks down and the yacht uh, goes to sea. Well, it's not too exciting, but that's the keel of the 75-meter yacht, and they can build up to 90 in these uh, in these sheds here. So a lot of construction goes into these. And here we have their last one, which is empty. They're expecting another yacht to come in, uh, a big one, in the next month. And this will put a lot of people to work, making beautiful yachts. Here's a couple big, uh, oh, there's a container ship, and it has boats, I mean, it has trucks and cars and everything that go on these things. These are huge. And most yacht owners are very secret and very secretive of their beautiful toys, which is their home. And so you usually sign a non-disclosure agreement when you work on the yacht. Uh, that means you can't tell anyone uh, who owns it, you can't tell anyone uh, anywhere, anything about it, where it's going, where it was last. Is they're usually very wealthy individuals that like their privacy. So, but they're going to show us some insights of some of the yachts that they built. And so, Banu was telling me about the, the shipyard. In 1970, it was originally the first one here. Yes. So, it's the history is leading back to the 70s, actually. Uh, there has been some change in, uh, changes, of course, uh, during these years. But the history leans back to the 1970s. And it's uh, merged with a couple of different companies, you said? Exactly. It started as Protexon, uh, turned over to Protexon Turquoise, uh, and now it's only uh, under the name of Turquoise. It's a beautiful name. It is. Turquoise yeah. is a beautiful stone. It reflects the whole Mediterranean, actually. It yes. Is, and a nice space that we have. Yes. How many employees are here? Uh, we have around 1,000 employees wow. in total, both in Kojeli and uh, in the Istanbul shipyard. 
uh, so and around 500 working on the boats each day. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of people. It is, definitely. Is. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to take a, a video tour of the inside now. Yes, let's get a video on. Oh. This is much better than I could have shot. <laughs> that was a gorgeous yacht there. That's a 77 footer. Well, the audio didn't play that well from the corporate video, but uh, that was the go yacht they showed a lot of pictures of and talked to a couple of designers, so I trimmed a little bit of it off. This is the interior of the go yacht. It is a super yacht, a gorgeous yacht. It's, I believe it's 77 meters long. And typically, uh, the cost of a, a, a super yacht is about a million dollars a foot. So this would be about a $300 million or, or 200, 200, what is it, three days? $50 million yacht, something like that. Depends on where it's built, of course. Um, they have pools, some pools, close up to be a dance floor. They've got fold out areas where you have beach uh, or landing platforms, fantastic dining areas, salons. I mean, it's, it's super yachts are fantastic. I've been on a couple $300 million yachts myself. They're a lot of fun. Um, and uh, the dining is exquisite, as you, you would imagine. Enjoyed that uh, tour of Yachts. It really is a fantastic company. I got a goodie bag with a catalog, and I hope to see them because I might be going around the world to the yacht shows, which would really be fantastic. So um, we'll see. My life is always taking twists and turns every day. Every day, a new adventure. I hope you're enjoying following me around the world as I visit people, places, and fantastic uh, things around the world. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.